So Clot recently, the premier Chinese um, streetwear brand, Global, founded by Edison Chen and his partner. I forgot his fucking name. It escaped me. I think it was a K or P. I forgot what his name is exactly was called. Nice guy as well. I think I spoke to him over email once, but his name escapes me. Please forgive me. But Clot, premier fucking streetwear brand, been around for fucking y y ions ever since I've been buying shoes. Love the brand. Love Edison. Cool story. Always gives great interviews and really definitely a... Uh, a, a really nice guy i met him once when i went to see the virgil show and he was very courteous very polite very nice especially considering the level of clout he has to be like that nice is really you know not really common especially if you're in the streetwear sneaker scene head you know how these guys with like little bits of power little bit of influence little bit of status like they're fucking egomaniacal so the fact that you know edison chen this like well established clouted up well to do um very successful um, you know, guy, influential person was able to be nice to me and just be cool, even though he didn't know who I was. I'm some random fucking skivvy just hanging around there. Says a lot about his character. They recently had, um, they recently decided to leave Nike. Bit, you know, tumultuous really, considering their history with Nike and all the legendary collaborations they've had over the years. And then decided to jump on to do collaborations with Adidas. At the time, I didn't really think it made a lot of sense because, like, you know, Clot is a Nike brand. Nike is clock. The collaborations are fucking legendary. Don't even need to talk about them too much, right? Yeah, the dragon shit. You know what it is. And um, they decided to link up to Adidas. The first efforts I've seen for Adidas aren't the greatest. I'm not really too fond of them. I don't really mind the Adidas superstars they've done with clock, where they've kind of got these ridge soles. They've kind of got this really exaggerated, like, ch cut sole. It kind of looks like an Oxford. It's all, it kind of makes you look like a dress shoe, but it's a superstar. It's been kind of luxed up with some nice materials. It kind of reminds me of those um, Hender Scheme type of shoes. So pretty nice. But the rest of it, probably not for me. But those superstars are probably definitely wear. But now I'm starting to understand why Clock collaborated with Adi Why they left Nike to join Adidas. Because maybe the reason why they did that is because Adidas gives them more flexibility and more room to do interesting things. Like release their own sneaker. So Clot have designed their first ever inline sneaker called the Parable. Now, don't get me wrong. It does look a bit similar or very close to an Air Force One. So it kind of lends back to their history of working with Nike and creating some legendary Air Force Ones. But this might be more of the reason of why they left Nike or why they refused to maybe sign on with Nike to sign with Adidas because maybe Adidas has given them more room to do other things as opposed to just stick to only, because probably if you sign to Nike as a collaborative partner, maybe you're only allowed to just do footwear with them. You can't do your own inline footwear. You can't collaborate with other footwear brands, but maybe Adidas are a bit more, you know, loose and a bit more free because they realize that, hey, we want to get you on board for your brand to bring in your audience and shit for the clout. But also we know if you're successful, if you do cool shit with your brand, that's going to have a trickle down effect to what we do. That's a great way to go about doing things. So I love this approach. So this is the shoe. It's called the Parable. As you can see here, it's very similar to an Air Force One. The only thing I'd say is different. There's less paneling on the top. So on the side here, you've got this really long, elongated sort of like mudguard area that wraps around the front of the toe all the way into the instep. And then you've not got you've not got much else on the up on the upper, really. You've got the main body. Um, I don't think this is even a different panel. I think this is just a different stitch that holds the fucking um, heel cushioning. You've got a nice heel tab there. And obviously the eyelet stays. But there's not much else, pat, you know, like um uppers and sections here on the top just this one it's basically it, it kind of feels like there's like four pieces maybe this one two three and then four that's it there's not much else in terms of like padding and bits on top of so it's kind of a minimalist shoe in that regard and maybe this speaks more to where they're going right edison chen is also growing up i think he's maybe might be in his 40s now maybe not too sure maybe he's at bobby hundreds age 50 40 years old so he's probably getting a little bit older now maybe he doesn't want to wear as much louder shoes maybe have something like casual you can wear with everything versatile so maybe that goes to why the shoe looks the way it does um so you've got this all white design um crisp white really big chunky outsole here um kind of split it comes i don't know if this is the wrapping where it sort of looks like it's been shrink wrapped, um, made look like a toy or like a collectible or something. Hope it's not an NFT shit. Hope it's not get into. Hope it's not NFT. Hope it's not NFT. Um, then you've got this interesting logo stitch here. I'm not sure if it's a logo for the design, but you've got this logo where it's kind of like, oh, maybe it's a logo. It's a C. You've got this C that almost looks like a little bit like the Margiela, where it's like the four sewing things, right, in terms of the label. So you've got this C in here. That kind of maybe is a little bit of a sign on the side. Maybe it's a quality control thing. Maybe it's a thing to stop with the fakes. And I like the outsole too. You've got this nice kind of like divot on the middle here. Got this nice chunky outsole. Nice outsole. Nice chunky midsole there. Nice white color. 
Again, it comes in white, nice crip laces, nice padding on the inside, sample written on the back on the heel tab there. And again, nice white crisp design all over the shop as well. And at the bottom, you've got the clot logo design on the outside, which is really cool. I quite like this clot design logo here on the outside inscribed. So all in all, a pretty laid back, paired back design. No too many bells and whistles, nothing too crazy. Um, kind of a, a really big departure from what they've done with their sneaker collaborations and shit. So clearly trying to rein stuff back in a little bit and kind of make it a little bit more sensible looking and maybe a bit more grown up, a bit more minimal. And maybe this is going to be the basis for like doing a bit more racier stuff later down the line. Or maybe this is kind of like what they're going to be doing now. Maybe the clothing will be the racier stuff and then the footwear will just be a bit pared down. Or maybe what they'll do, which is probably likely, put all the racier stuff into the Adidas collaborations and then do the inline shoes to be a bit more grown up. So you have a ver you have two different options. If you want a clock design shoe that's a bit more limited, I guess, that's obviously lending to sneaker history and Nike and whatever, Adidas sort of stuff, whatever you Adidas, you can go there. But if you want stuff that's a bit pared down, a bit more grown up, a bit more versatile, you can wear with, you know, your actual grown-up stuff here you, here you go so i quite like it i don't mind it to be fair again it's kind of got golf vibes about it a bit mostly soccer shoes vibes about it again chunky so they, 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 they've done a good job in terms of making it look quite chunky but also look quite slim at the same time which is pretty hard to do with a shoe especially with that size of outsole and midsole it's hard to make something look that chunky but also make it look quite slim so did a good job in that regard the shape's really nice nice flat sole probably cost them an arm and a leg to get it produced because shoes are really expensive to make so i'm curious to see what the retail price for these will be when they actually do eventually drop um let's actually see no actually price there no idea on the price i launched the shoes available to public in a white colorway uh they're available at select two shoe stores worldwide and coming oh, it's coming out in may so no real date on them yet but they say may no real price but i really do like them so the clock first inline sneaker pulled the parabole sorry parabola not parabole parabola is out very very soon check it out where you need to check it out